Okay guys, so here we have it. Steve Bruce Slugger Edition, <laughs> BRK Ghost. I'll give you a quick rundown. This is um, obviously BRK Ghost High Power. It's a 2-2 version at the moment. It's um, obviously FAC rated. It's currently shooting 30.5 grain Zans in 2-2 at 1,025 foot per second. Um, got Gav Jones Precision Rifle Systems rear shoulder pad, adjustable butt pad. It's got the adjustable monopod with a micro tune at the bottom, so you can micro adjust up and down. You've got the lower bag rail. I do have the cheek riser for it, but with the low profile scope mount I've got mounted on my Cytron, I don't actually need it, so I have removed it on this occasion. Um, but Cytron S3 tactical scope, a few years old now, but they are probably one of the best scopes you can buy for the money. Very clear gra uh, glass, superb turrets. Um, got third eye tactical scope mounts, which they're now actually called tier one. Um, wicker gauges, just they're better than the standard factory ones. 700 mil, 300 bar bottle, which currently I'm only filling to 250 bar, but I've got 700 cc's. It's got custom shroud, this is a 700 mil barrel. Custom shroud, 30 millimeter in diameter. And then the new PRS sound moderator. This sound moderator has got over barrel uh, fitment, half inch U and F over barrel, two inches. It's got an internal adjustable air stripper. It's also got a muzzle brake inside the moderator, which diverts the high pressure gases back into the moderator and back down to the shroud and exits there. Like I say, it's got a adjustable air stripper inside. It's got the muzzle brake and it's also got a lovely fitted end cap. There's another part to this coming in the next week or so, um, which we'll, we'll announce in due course. Um, we're just waiting for some final parts to arrive. But no, it's shooting really, really well. I've, I've done some internal modifications to it. Uh, it's far from standard at the moment, far from factory standard, but hopefully once the research and development has been complete, we'll um, roll out these improvements, should we say, and performance parts into this range. So yeah, there she is, guys. Shooting really well, a joy to shoot, and it shoots so, so well. So little recoil, it's probably because of the weight of the bottle, the weight of the front, the way the gun's set up and the way it's balanced. Also, the reduction in velocity from the brake at the front. Very surprised, very, very pleased and surprised how well it actually worked. It's gone from an idea to a product and it works really, really well. So yeah, there you have it, guys. Thanks for watching. Well, good evening, guys. Another day. It's Friday and it's the weekend. And uh, we're out tonight. I was wanting to get you a rabbit on film, but unfortunately there's no rabbits in this field again for some reason. I'm sure they know the registration. Chicken's going to get it in a minute. The, um, I'm sure the rabbits know my registration. But anyway, I thought while I'm here, I've got the BRK Ghost out with the custom barrel this is now almost there this is the steve bruce slug edition it's got the bigger bottle it's got the prs moderator shroud topped off with a 700 mil bottle cytron s3 tactical a few home improvements internally and it's spitting out zan projectiles at 1025 foot per second 30 grains in 2-2 so like i say different day different fire solution we've got a left to right wind i don't like the winds that we've got at the moment very 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 little wind i call it a hidden wind that can become a problem because you can't physically see what the wind's doing at close range mid range intermediate and long range you can't see what it's doing that's why i call it hidden wind but i prefer to have a more constant wind which is more consistent and more physical physically visible but anyway 
enough torque. We've got this rock 190 yards, so dialed in the elevation, um, dialed in half a minute for spin drift, and I'm going to hold or favour left edge of the stone because it's a left to right wind coming from about 10 o'clock. So let's see if we can engage this rock first time. Okay, it's a small target. And if that chicken doesn't shut up, it's going to feel what the 30 grain Zan slug is at 1,000 foot per second. Okay, here we go. Come on, you bloody chicken in the way. Right, you can clear. Okay, here we go. Impact, lovely, first shot, lovely, dead center that. Hopefully you can see the mark on the stone. That was absolutely dead center. I'm very pleased with that. Left edge. And again, right edge. Last one, I think. See how the wind's affecting here. Almost fishtailing from my left to right. So that's why I've hit the left, dead center, left edge, and right edge of that tiny stone. So see if we can make it a full house here. Beautiful, dead center. And a chicken walking across the front now, perfect timing. I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see the impact on that rock, because that is a tiny, tiny rock. That's, it's only about three inches across, if that, it is tiny. It's smaller than a packet of cigarettes. But um, 190 yards, like I say, it's difficult wind. That's a left to right wind coming from half 10, 11 o'clock. Um, very little wind and it's difficult to read and allow and compensate what it's going to do. I much prefer to have a a stiff breeze which I can physically see but like I say hidden winds are very difficult and very tricky but yeah we managed to do it again. Full house shooting the BRK Ghost Steve Brew training exercise where you range and engage long distance targets Good stuff.